I'd like to start with something that fuses magic with a bit of drama. And it's for you, Amanda. I'd like you to tell me what it is you think that I'm making for you here at my fingertips, just like this. Oh, yes, it is a bouquet of flowers. Science. Now, I think we all agree that magic can be really beautiful, but my other passion in life is physics. I was a scientist for many years, and tonight I want to show you how magic and science, science in particular, can be just as beautiful as magic and also as dangerous. This is my very favorite science desk toy. It's called a harmonic pendulum. The first one was built 150 years ago by physicist Ernst Mach. Now, I realized by observing the patterns over and over again that they seemed to repeat. They were exactly the same every single time. In theory, an object could travel from one side of the pendula to the other without being struck. The important phrase there, of course, was in theory. Now, the one that you have in front of you is a rather innocuous desk size version. However, the one I have here on stage tonight is a giant industrial size one, which can be deadly. In a moment, these cannonballs will career across the stage, taking out literally anything in their path. When that happens, I will attempt to walk through them without being struck. I mean, what an amazing invention. Now, Simon, we know that you love a bit of drama. So tonight, we will be setting these cannonballs on fire. OK. Oh. And McPartlin. Can I ask you to join I'm me on, on stage, please? Yes, yes, OK. Hold your two hands out like this way, if you don't mind, yes. and brace yourself. Here is one I made earlier. I just want you just to get ready. You ready? It's quite heavy. Yeah. Oh, it is heavy. Oh, you've got that. Yeah, I've got you, it. You take a few steps forward. Hold it directly above the watermelon. Lovely. Yeah. I'm going to count from three to one. I want you to drop it. OK. Are you ready? I'm very ready, yes. OK, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Wow. OK, yeah, I mean, you're laughing, but that could be my head. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> when I do the walkthrough, I will be blindfolded. No! What? Oh, what? I'm going to pop this over your head. OK. So just trust me as I do that. The reason I am doing that is to make sure that you cannot see any of the gestures that I am now making in front of your face right now. No flinching whatsoever. I'm going to take that off. You're going to get a round of applause. Ladies and gents, give it up for Anne McPartland. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, I need complete faith in science to make this work. Just let me know when they're lit. He's crazy. That's not right, is it? That's not right, is it? Is that right? Is that right? Is he gonna run? 